Dallas there. 28 out from his own line. Hearn off a flat run taken by Manzi. Oh, oh Carroll! Carroll! Let's go with three right hands. Hearn retaliates. They come in from all over the park. And now it has broken out in two areas. And that was a very, very nasty start to that incident. I think Tony Hearn's thrown the, the headbutt. And Mark Carroll has reacted as you would. This is going to be a very interesting report here. Mark Carroll is livid. And if it is a headbutt, he's got to go. The great referee that sends a Queenslander off at, uh, at Suncorp. Well, he's got both linesmen on there. They would have seen something. Mark Carroll, a little bit of blood there. Certainly got a few on Tony Hearn. Fortunately, it didn't escalate into what we saw in Melbourne. There's was not going on with it, but as I say, it was a nasty incident. I just saw it very quickly, but it did appear as though a headbutt was the catalyst. And it will be Tony Hearn on report for the use of the head. So he's a very, very lucky man. All right, let's have a look at it. Here it is. And dead set. Oh, he's off. He's had to go. Well, in Winfield Cup, he's off. There's no doubt about it. And it has been spoken about many times by club coaches wanting to know why there's two sets of rules. But Tony Hearn, on a, on a Friday night or a Sunday, he's heading for the showers. He's up here with us. Well, those coaches have just been, been given more ammunition for that belief. And, well, hang on. I find this hard to believe. The penalty has gone to Queensland. And well, I just that, can't fathom that badge. Well, well, maybe the referee's warned him for using his head to repel a few Mark Carroll punches. Well, maybe he thought Mark Carroll threw his head at Tony Hearn's head. That's an incredible decision by David Manson. 